going to share with you some Hogwarts slash Harry Potter themed school and office supplies that I found on the internet. Now again, these are items that I found on the internet and I actually don't have them on hand because I can't buy everything. I am not a millionaire. <laughs> so what I did was researched Harry Potter themed school and office supplies and I found the very best ones and I'm going to feature them in this video and if you're interested in buying them or checking them out, the links to them will be in the description box below. Now, I didn't want to leave you empty-handed, though. I actually do have a couple of Harry Potter-themed school slash office supplies on hand that I wanted to show you really quick. The first really cool one is this Hogwarts journal with a golden crest, and I got this at Barnes & Noble, but I've also seen this on sale on Amazon if you just want to order it online. But if you live near a Barnes & Noble, then you can get it at Barnes & Noble as well. It also has this elastic strap to keep it closed, but when you take it off and you open the book, it has this beautiful image of Hogwarts and Doze. And then the rest of the pages are lined, so you could write to Tom Riddle, or I'm just kidding, um, <laughs> write your notes or your thoughts or your you know, journal entries. And of course you did not see my innermost thoughts because I wrote in invisible ink. I also have these two notebooks for when I go to Hogwarts and I need to take notes on either spells and charms or divination. Divination is actually my favorite class and I love it so much. And I really love these journals as well. I actually got them for Christmas last year and if I could find the listing where they're from, I will definitely leave it in the description box below so you could have some as well. And be prepared for spells and charms and divination class. <laughs> So I did find the shop that sells my Spells and Charms and Divination notebook. The Etsy shop is called Two Critters and I looked through their shop and they actually sell a number of really cool notebooks with awesome artwork such as Transfiguration, Herbology, or my new favorite, Defense Against the Dark Arts. I mean just look at this notebook, it's so perfect! And I am taking Defense Against the Dark Arts at Hogwarts this year so it looks like I need to order it! Okay, so moving on, the next shop I would like to feature is Caribou Milk, and they sell these really cool vintage looking magical spell books that actually look like textbooks or something straight out of the Hogwarts library, but they are in fact notebooks that you can write your notes in or your deepest darkest secrets, any magic spells you come across, and they come in a variety of colors, which I thought was really nice. And yeah, so that's why I wanted to feature them. The next notebook is from Legacy Memories, and it's a rather simple design. It's a spiral bound notebook if you like spiral bound as opposed to a, I don't know what the opposite of a spiral bound is, but a non spiral bound. So yeah, this design was cute and simplistic, and a similar design is from Flamingo Road Journals, and it has one of my favorite Ron Weasley quotes, don't let the muggles get you down. And I like this because it actually gives you the option to either purchase it with the tan and black color or this white and black color, and it also gives you the option to choose whatever paper you would like to go into the notebook, so if you want it to be more of a... Um, actual notebook, then you want the lined paper. If you want it to be more of a sketchbook, then you could choose the plain paper. And I thought that was really helpful. Now this spiral bound notebook is in no way simplistic. It is from the gift locker and it has this gorgeous Marauder's Map, I can never pronounce it right, design on the front as well as on the back where it states, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. And when you open the spiral bound notebook, you can see that on the bottom corners of the lined paper, it states mischief managed. And yeah, this is a really cool notebook. I definitely needed to add this to this video. And again, it's from the gift locker. So this is from Pen Paper Fabric. And it is going back to that simple design, but this time it's not on a spiral bound notebook, but on a regular journal. And it has the Harry Potter glasses as well as his scar. And then the same shop has a similar um, journal, but this time with the Deathly Hollow symbol. And yeah, both of them are just really cool. And from Ada Kelster Design, I picked out this journal because I thought it looked really cool because of its vintage look. And the artwork on it kind of reminds me of the journals I have right now. It's very simple, yet thoughtful, and just very Hogwartsy. <laughs> I can't really explain it. But yeah, I just thought this journal was pretty cool. 
The next notebook is from Pens and Pages, and it is this Slytherin notebook that I thought was really interesting because once you open it up, it has a number of featured pages that have things such as the Hogwarts crest, the Mordor's map, which I know I'm not pronouncing right and I'm sorry. They also have this really cool wanted poster for Bellatrix Lestrange, and I'm sure it's just filled with really cool surprises as well as a lot of pages to take notes or write your secrets in or you know what have you and I'm also sure that they have a number of designs too not just Slytherin so you could just go ahead and check out the Etsy shop. Another really awesome notebook that I found is from Woodcarve and they make this wooden notebook or at least the outside cover is wooden and leather bound. The front design on this notebook is a laser etched Gryffindor emblem and then when you open up the notebook it has blank pages so you can use this to illustrate or draw um, along with your notes or you can just use it as a regular notebook and if you're not a Gryffindor they also have this Hogwarts one which is similarly made out of wood has blank pages but just has the Hogwarts crest as opposed to the Gryffindor emblem and again it's from the shop Woodcarve and this next notebook is from the shop LR's workshop and I picked this one out because not only does the actual notebook design itself look really cool. It looks like it's made out of some sort of fabric and just the design itself is really pretty and on top of that if you purchase this you actually get your very own Hogwarts acceptance letter so I thought that was noteworthy as well so yeah again it's from LR's workshop on Etsy. The last notebook is from Inkcraft and do you recognize it? That's right it is Tom Riddle's diary and of course I needed to add this especially as the last notebook because it is the most epic. So again the Etsy shop is called Inkcraft and they made this beautiful replica of Tom Riddle's diary. Now there are so many other really cool notebooks out there but those are just a couple that I wanted to feature. And now we're going to move on to bookmarks and this bookmark is from Beardly UK and what's funny is I didn't know that metal bookmarks existed but now I do and they're actually really really cute. This bookmark has a number of charms related to Harry Potter. It has an owl delivering a letter to the cupboard under the stairs. This next bookmark is from Ink and Blot, and it is a more traditional bookmark that's made of paper, although I'm pretty sure it's made of thick watercolor paper because the design on here either is handmade or at least the a watercolor design is actually watercolor because when you look close on it, it looks handmade and it's just really pretty and I wanted to feature it, so cool. So this next set of bookmarks is from Sogni D. Fimo Shop. And they make these really adorable uh, Harry Potter character charms on their bookmarks. The actual bookmark itself is made out of metal and then what makes it really special are these little charms that they add. So out of polymer clay they make Harry, Hermione, Ron, Dobby, and Severus. And they also add other little charms to it so every time you put the bookmark in your book the little charms spill out of the book and make you happy. <laughs> So this next bookmark is from Sam Schuyler and it is yet another traditional bookmark made out of paper but it has this adorable illustration of Hedwig on top of a mountain of books and it also comes with a variety of different tassel colors. And this next notebook is from Big Nerd Wolf and I absolutely love it. It's hilarious. So you don't actually get the bookmark itself. You actually purchase the print and you print it out and then you cut it out. And what makes this bookmark hilarious is that when you put these bookmarks in your book, you actually place the arms on top of the paper and it just looks like they're just hanging out there. And I don't know, I just thought it was pretty amusing. So again, it's from Big Nerd Wolf. So this next bookmark is from Marvlegy. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but anyway, it's from this Etsy shop. And the bookmark includes a golden snitch charm, but that's not the entire bookmark. The entire bookmark is actually comprised of a leather piece that has either your name on it or any customizable lettering on there, as well as a Deathly Hollow symbol and the chain that leads to the golden snitch charm. 
The next bookmark I thought was also very creative. It's from Fantastic Bookmarks. And if you do not know what it is by now, it's actually the legs of a Quidditch player as well as the broom of a Quidditch player. And I thought that that was not only very amusing, but also incredibly creative and thoughtful and definitely needed to shout the shop out because, I mean, look at that. That is so cute and this person is incredibly talented. Okay, so moving on to pens. This is from Barnes & Noble and I believe it's also available on Amazon. But it is this really cool um, Harry Potter wand pen where you take off one piece of the wand to reveal the pen and then you could just put it back on to close the pen. And I just thought that was cool, I guess. And the next um, writing utensil is from Funko and it has these little pop heads of Harry, Hermione, Hagrid, and um, Voldemort. I don't know why they don't have any other characters such as Dumbledore or Ron, but you know, I thought they were pretty interesting. Okay, so this next writing utensil is from Arpelit and I thought these were absolutely gorgeous pencils, I believe. I thought they were pens at first, but they're pencils. And they all have this gem on top, and they come in a variety of colors for Hufflepuff, or Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, or just your favorite color. And I believe that these are beautifully made. And honestly, if I were to get one of these, I probably wouldn't even use it very often, maybe even at all, because they look like really pretty ones and not something that I would want to sharpen and slowly make smaller and smaller and diminish over time. But that's what pencils are for, I guess. These next set of pencils are from Adopt a Pencil, and I just thought they were funny because it says, You're a wizard, Harry, <laughs> on the pencils, and I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, that's it. Adopt a Pencil. So if you're going to have really awesome pencils, you're going to need a really awesome pencil case. And this is from the Hen Company, and it states that, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. And it comes in a variety of different colors, so you can go ahead and pick your favorite color combination and put your pencils, markers, and other art supplies in there. And another pencil case that I thought was really cool is from the Etsy shop Crafty Sew Creations, and it is this really cool black and gray design of the Marador's map, which again, I cannot pronounce for the life of me. I say it right in my head, but when I actually say it, it just doesn't sound right. But anyway, it's a really cool pencil case. And the next item on this list is not necessarily needed for school, but I just thought it was kind of school related and really cool. And it is this wax seal set from the Etsy shop Perfect Goods 365, and it comes with a variety of emblems for various Hogwarts houses as well as the Hogwarts crest. It comes with wax and candles as well as a little spoon that you need to heat up to melt the wax. And yeah, I thought that was a really cool little set. And another really cool set is on Amazon, and it has this um, uh, wax stamp. What makes it special is the actual stamp itself, or the handle of it, because it is shaped as a piece of the Hogwarts castle, and it has the Hogwarts crest on it. However, it only has the Hogwarts crest as the wax stamp, as opposed to the other set, where you can get a number of different stamps for Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, or Gryffindor. For this one, it's just the Hogwarts crest, but it's still really cool. Okay, so moving on to backpacks. Okay, can we just take a second to appreciate this Etsy shop name? Hollivander's Wands. Hollivander's Wands. <gasps> I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, Hollivander's Wands sells this Hogwarts Express backpack, and although it's terribly tiny, if you are someone who only brings like a couple pencils and a piece of paper to school or just one notebook to school, it's absolutely perfect, lightweight, and adorable. Or you can just use it as a fashion backpack and it's still really cute. If you like drawstring backpacks, then Jelly Babies 1 has this Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry drawstring backpack that you can use for Quidditch. And another drawstring backpack that I found is from the Curious Catbird, and it is this Deathly Hollows themed drawstring backpack. And it comes in a variety of colors, but quite honestly, my favorite color combination is the one that they chose for this photo. But again, you could always choose your own favorite color and customize it. 
Another interesting backpack that I found is from Box Lunch. And I say that it's interesting because out of all things, this entire backpack is inspired by the Hogwarts letter that is addressed to Harry. Which I thought was a pretty funny thing to base an entire backpack off of. But still Harry Potter themed and I wanted to include it. So again, that is from the store Box Lunch. It's not an Etsy shop, it's an actual store. And the last backpack that I want to feature is on Amazon, and it is the biggest out of all of the backpacks that I featured, and probably the most sturdy or reliable. And it has the Hogwarts crest on it, as well as various Hogwarts designs inside. However, it does feature um, the colors for Gryffindor, so if you're not a Gryffindor, you may not really like this backpack, or at least the colors. But it doesn't say Gryffindor on it, it just has the Gryffindor colors. But anyway... Yeah, cool backpack. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. Okay, so um, other school-related items that I want to feature are from Think Geek, and these are um, folders that you can put into your three-ring binder, and it has the various Hogwarts houses. You can get all four of them, or you can just get a bunch of only the house that you're in. Totally up to you. Again, these folders are from Think Geek. And the next item that I want to feature is a lanyard, and it is a Slytherin lanyard, but there are various other lanyards that are just Hogwarts themed, or Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, but I just wanted to show this one really quick because I thought it was pretty cool. It had this really nice Slytherin um, keychain on it as well. Another kind of school supply are these Harry Potter themed socks, or Hogwarts inspired socks. These are for Slytherin, these are for Gryffindor. For some reason, this one is for Hogwarts. I don't know why they chose that color for Hogwarts. I would think it'd be like a neutral brown or something. But anyway, uh, this next pair is for Hufflepuff. And the last one is for Ravenclaw. And these are also from the website Think Geek. And I thought these were really cute designs. And I actually want a pair. So back to Etsy. These are really cool stickers for your laptop, and I have to say this one is my favorite. I mean, not only is the photo just absolute perfection, but the actual sticker itself is really cool. It says Hogwarts Alumni, and it is from the Etsy shop 3D Extremes, and it comes in a number of colors as well, and that's probably my favorite one. But Sticker Girl also makes this really cool um, laptop sticker that says Mischief Managed, and then this adorable one is from impression decals and it features the sorting hat sorting out what looks like Harry Potter because you could put these little glasses on the apple of your MacBook. Another really cool thing I found is from Cast Cases and it is this beautiful MacBook skin of the Hogwarts castle at night and I think it's absolutely gorgeous however I did notice that the skin is solid yet when they show it on the actual laptop the apple is already cut out so just be aware that if you purchase this skin, you may need to cut out the apple yourself in order for it to show. Unless you don't want it to show, then you could just put the skin on top of your laptop and it will cover the entirety of your laptop. So the last laptop sticker is from Pure Print Studios and it is just the Hogwarts crest with all four Hogwarts houses. So moving on from laptop stickers to laptop cases. This one is from the Etsy shop Book Your Case, and it has the design of the Marauder's Map all over the front as well as the back of it. And when you open up the case, inside it reveals a lovely red velvet fabric that you could actually also customize in any different color. And actually, I believe that this shop offers the option of making your very own customized case based off of anything, kind of like this one where you can say, can I have a laptop case based off of the Deathly Hollows or the Sorcerer's Stone or the Prisoner of Azkaban, and they could just make any case based off whatever book that you choose, hence their name, Book Your Case. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found some really cool Hogwarts and Harry Potter themed school and office supplies that you would like. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also click that red subscribe button if you have not already so I can see you next time. Bye!